hey guys welcome back to my channel again i'm happy to show you this hair by expression collection and it's called danella this is the hair i use for a so a in on someone on this channel if you are following me you should know it but if you are new to this channel i'm going to put the link up for you to click and down below for you to click so that you can see that video first and so yeah today if you are not used to this hair i want to introduce this hair to you again so it's by expression collection and it's called daniela previously i used color one and uh, slash 27 but today i'm going to use the color one and this color one daniela is a good top quality hair and the fiber used for this hair is made by toyo Cologne. so whatever details you need to know about this hair i'm going to link them in the description box and for this hairstyle i use just one pack and it's very beautiful and durable so just keep watching Okay now so um this is my hair i washed my hair last night and i put them in chunky um braid like you can see and so the next day i'm just like um bringing them out what i really want to achieve by doing this is because i want my hair to be a little bit stretched out i didn't want to use any form of heat to stretch it out so you can either do this um braid or you can just put your hair in um african thread uh, thread And when you're doing this, make sure that you just, you know, try to detangle your hair um, gently. Don't comb it because your hair is dry right now. So, and I, I'm avoiding to, you know, put any kind of oil for now because I'm putting my hair in, in a bun and I'm going to use um, jam, you know, extra hold for that. So, I didn't want to add too much product so that the, the jam can hold on for a long time. So, yeah, this is basically what I'm doing, trying to take the braids out and try to prepare my hair before I start showing you this hairstyle and for those of you that are joining this channel today for the very first time um, I welcome you all to this channel my name is Chide and this channel is called Chide Loves You I really appreciate you guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and so yeah first after I have finished um, bringing out my hair from the braid uh, I'm gonna just section the hair because I want to, this hair to go onto the top like I'm showing so for me to get the guide so I just had to just separate my hair like so but if you feel that you can just do yours once that's okay just that I'm just going for the simple way to do it so this is the um, hair jam I'm using today and I bought this for 650 pounds uh, I bought it in a shop close to me here and so i don't know how much this is um how much this is so near you let me know down in the description and uh, the comment section guys uh, i think that this um hair products are begin are begin to get so pricey i remember buying that like um, the last time i bought it was like 450 but i was shocked to find out that it's not 650 so you know you know so let me know how much it costs in your own area and if you know any website that sell it cheaper let me know down in the comment section also so yeah what i'm gonna do now is to just uh, you know um separate my hair in section and begin to apply the jam and make sure that i use brittle brush and i just like to smoothen it up this honestly since i found out about this jam i know that a lot of people say oh it might you know break hair but to be honest this is like it made with oil and a little bit of foam to hold your hair up i don't know why people think that it can break your hair it doesn't break any hair it's actually really really nice for natural hair it gives you that sleekness that you want your hair to achieve don't get me wrong echo styler can do the same thing just that echo styler take 100 years to dry and so for you to go for a quick hairstyle like this this one is preferable and one thing that the disadvantage of this jam that I don't really like is that it begins to you begin to drip with oil after a while especially if it's in a hot season you begin to drip with oil there's so much oil in this and like you can see how nice I was able to you know achieve this look my hair looks so sleek and look relaxed and this is what I am looking for 
so yeah after doing the back side i'm going to go ahead and continue doing the same on the front side and i'm just kind of applying onto the root actually the root first before the hair itself like that this hair is gonna be looking so sleek that you will wonder i remember posting this um um this um, hair a picture of this style i'm making on my story and on my son on my whatsapp and on my facebook story people were asking me i feel relaxed your hair and i'm like no guys this my hair my hair is still natural and they're like whoa how did you do that i'm like okay don't worry the video is coming up soon so if you are here for it all right just press the like button so guys did you see the magic like this jam just put my hair in a sleek high bun like i have always dreamt of like i have dreamt of a high bun that is so sleek that doesn't shrink back that my hair looks straight and this this product just gave me that look and i'm so happy that i used it i'm so happy that i did this in section and everything is perfect and yeah this is what i want this is what i get yeah so yeah so after putting it down i make sure that i slick everything else down it's not easy slicking our natural hair down especially the 4c one and yeah of course if you are wondering my hair is 4c i know somebody will come under this comment section and say oh you lied your hair is not 4c girl my hair is 4c if my hair is not 4c then what is my hair is my hair wall four wall i don't know <laughs> so people just like to come and say my hair is not 4c i don't know what my hair is my hair is 4c i haven't i haven't been relaxed for like years i can't even remember because i'm not just keeping any record so now i'm trying to do the edges um one thing if you are doing the edges i think our advice is use the edge edge control to do it because this this product is gonna make it go if you go back your edges will be so slick so this is what i got i'm just trying to tie it down to just let it sit for like five to ten minutes there is no big deal you can just go ahead and apply what you want to do but i just wanted to just wait for some minutes so later on i just remove the scalp and um it's now time for me to just apply the hair and like i said before this is the hair i'm using if you didn't watch that part so yeah it's by expression hair and this hair is really beautiful it's nice it's very nice like it's so 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 the the, the one pack is just enough for this hairstyle for god's sake like if you, you can't even add two packs it will be too much i still have two packs left and i'm thinking of what to do with it so if, if you have any video idea you want me to film with this hair please write in the comment section so that i can uh, you know film it for you guys so yeah uh, enough of showing of the hair I'm going to go ahead now and bring it out and just you know apply on the hair so I'll let you watch that part
Okay, so for those that are still watching that have not clicked out already, so yeah, this is the one bundle all together that I've put on. And now, because I want to go for a little bit of fringe to the front, and I'm not ready to leave my hair out to cut my hair, so I just want to use this hair. This style is so, so, so popular on Instagram, even on YouTube, yeah, and I haven't tried it once, so I'm like, okay, why not? Let me just try this out. And guys, so I, I didn't want a bulky a fringe in the front so I just want something little something that looks more realistic you know yeah so I just put out a little bit of hair but if you are um, someone that like to you know have big fringe in the front you can leave more hair out you know that is you know is a um, is what you like that you just used but I like it little bit like this and yeah so what I'm going to do with the remaining hair is I'm just trying to just roll them together and put them in the high bone you can also leave it down if you want without packing it but I decided to just put everything in a bun and this there is no particular rule on how your bun should look no matter how you how you can do yours that is how you know that you will carry it so yeah i know a lot of people can do better than this and a lot of people cannot even do this at all so you know whichever way you know is good so yeah i try to do that and i put everything up in a bun then i use my pin to secure it down and make sure that everything is nice and um cool so yeah what i want to do next is to you know, just take care of the fringe and make sure that it's well laid and so yeah i'm cutting off that part that was sticking out you know just do your thing just do you be you just don't worry about the world the world will adjust just be yourself so yeah this is what i'm doing now i'm trying to cut if you are cutting make sure you are so sure don't be too close to the um your face you will make any, any mistake like if you cut it too short you have to start all over again guys so if you feel this is too long for you, you can cut it again if you feel that this was too short you can leave it longer whichever way yeah so i'm just trying to just use my scissors to just remove a little bit of the straightness to give it that um ruggedy kind of look in the front that's what i'm going for and yeah guys i think i have done a really good job my hair i haven't worn this kind of look in like forever and this gave me a different vibe and i really really love it guys so please if you are watching and you are still here please like this video at this point just know that i've tried abby <laughs> guys so yeah this is the final look and with my makeup it complements everything and i think this is beautiful thank you guys so much for staying by and for watching and don't forget to buy this hair by expression collection and it's called daniela and it's super affordable it's about two dollars yeah i think and uh, yeah bye